Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming back to the channel. Yes. Hey, how you doing? It's Tuesday evening. We're almost to that hump day. We're almost to that hump day. Okay. That's tomorrow. Okay. <coughs> but I think congratulations, cheers are in order. Because Portia sat down here and told us on social media that she got some big plans for Hollywood. Kind of seemed to mimic the same way NeNe went up to the Hollywood scene and Pretty much they spit her out, chewed her up, and sent her back home. All right? Portia, please don't let that happen to you, baby girl. Please don't let that happen to you. But a question is, when I was looking at the people that you were photographed with, of course we know John Legend, and we know you can't sing, and it's not a singing opportunity that you're going to be trying to leave Atlanta for and go up there in L.A., um, the guy that you're, uh, the black, the other black guy with the afro seems like he's into like slapstick type comedy, like that dry humor comedy, some like Saturday Night Live type of thing. And I'm like, Portia, 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 girl, girl, are you trying to get in the comedian type world? Nene tried to do that too, fell miserably, miserably. And I understand that you got the bug, you don't bit off the bug, and you don't got Hollywood in your system. But our concern, and it ain't none of our damn business, I'm going to keep it real, but you know we know that I'm knows it, and I'm going to keep trying to find out things that I want to find out here and there. Okay, what is your husband doing? Or, as I like to say, your glorified boyfriend, what you going to do with him when you go to uh, Hollywood? And call yourself trying to be an actress now. But it's going to be in comedy. So, uh, yeah. He's the, I guess, guy who's going to be uh, molding you to be a part of the comedy world slash acting world. Uh, I don't know if you're going to have to read lines or learn lines. But it's good exercise. It's good practice. Uh, we do have some music uh, talent artists want to get into the acting scene such as John Legend I think he was on Kevin Hart little special at one time too um, Nick Cannon and some more uh, men celebrities uh, were doing it on thing trying to do that comedy type stink but girl I don't know if that's your cup of tea I don't know and I don't want you to get the big head because somebody opened up a door for you of opportunity and they just want to try you out see if it was me Portia I would have waited before I post any of this shit you know sometimes you got to move in darkness you got to move you know quietly until you got what you need to get then you blow up but see you always do shit backwards you, you do backwards girl get up there hopefully you won't fail because it is something new maybe you can grasp onto the idea of how things get going but um i don't know i don't know portia i know you're trying to somewhat compete with candy because candy's on the shy here and there i don't know how she uh uh we call it fair because I didn't catch it. I didn't want to watch it because she don't amuse me in um, Real Housewives of Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? Then she did something, a, a Christmas special, uh, and they gave her a little cameo part. And I didn't too much like her at that either. So it's just your, you, whatever your shin is, I guess. But yes, this brother is a writer and he's an actor. But his claim to fame is doing comedy or doing film through comedy. So if anybody watched Southside. Uh, it's like a slapstick type of comedy. Dry humor comedy. You really have to be in tune with what they're doing. And watching their body language. To be able to get the joke. That they're trying to say. But it's, I, 
I don't know. I watched a few of his stuff because I had to, you know, come on here and t- you know be able to be somewhat knowledgeable of what the man do and what Portia probably would be trying to get herself into. And it's almost like when she played that uh, cameo part in Sharknado. You know what I'm saying? Um, it wasn't a very good big part or anything. It was like testing the waters, and she only did one one scene in that whole series. So I thought, well, maybe she couldn't catch on. She couldn't learn the lines. But it's still gonna be the same theory, same practice here. Portia, you got to put in the work. You got to do the work, girl. Can't be fooling around thinking people gonna just be giving you passes and you know spoon feeding you and all this thing. So that's what's wrong with Nene. She got into the art of acting or wanting to act at a later age, you know, and she didn't horn her craft. And <laughs> it's just ain't something you can just go out there and do. You know what I'm saying? You gotta practice. Practice make perfect. But you gotta also be willing to do the work. And see, Portia, that's one thing you don't like to do. You don't like to do the work. You don't want to do the assignment. You don't want to get it right on the first try. And I, I we say try, try again. Because you still can't get it right with this billionaire. We don't know anything about Simon to this. I mean, do you know anything? Forget us. Forget us, okay? Because we ain't having to get paid or laid with him and this, that, and the third. Trying to serve him up to get some of his change, okay? But do you know anything about Simon? And I know Simon ain't trying to adopt Todd habits where he follow you everywhere. You know what I'm saying? Because we, we need Simon to be showing up and showing out. And if he's worth a billion, why would you need to work, Portia? Some bullshit you feeding us. And we don't serve it back up to you. We don't push the plate back to you. You try to give us bullshit, we served it right back to you. Because we want you to understand that we ain't foolish. We are not foolish. And we do know. When you're going up in the Hollywood, you either got to act, you got to do, got to know what you're doing, be true to the crowd, or they're going to spit you up and chew you out and send you back home. Now, I would have thought you would have been married by now. Because it don't take too much to say, uh, I do. Quick, fast, in a hurry. The courthouse would do it very expeditiously for you, okay? And you can be seen in public and on paper as Mrs. Gabadia. But you or Simon, y'all just keep dragging y'all feet like y'all got shackles on you or something. Like, just can't get it together. Don't have to. I mean, ain't like Simon hadn't been married before. He'd been married, what, th- three times? Three times over. You would be the fourth wife. So it's like, <laughs> what are we waiting on? Now you would have us to believe you're going to LA, you're getting into a new. Uh, type of wear, which is the acting world. Who the hell gonna be taking care of PJ? You don't think Dennis got things to do? You don't think he got to show and prove and provide still for himself, for his mom, for his daughter? Maybe not in that order, but you know what I'm saying. They're still in the same realm that they need to be taken care of. What about PJ schooling? What about that? Because a the time ain't got time to do nothing but smoke, drink, and eat. In that order, smoke, drink, and eat, and then probably take him a little nappy nap if he ain't out there trying to serve up some golf balls. Because he, you could forget that he ain't gonna be watching PJ. Hell, he can't watch his other three kids. The mothers don't trust him. So, are you biting off more than you can chew, baby girl? Because I thought, hey, if I got a millionaire husband, I ain't finna work on nobody's job. I ain't finna try to be nothing I wanted to be. I'm finna spend some money and sit down and go travel. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make it do what it do. I'm gonna travel. Travel and then travel. But you're still trying to put in work. And I don't know if it's the work that you need to be putting in. Because you did have this young lady, this young girl, this three-year-old that needs her mommy. But you still thinking you could bite off every piece of apple you could find on the tree. <coughs> Till you get what you want. But you're supposed to already have it all with Mr. Simon Gabadia. Your so-called, as you like to say, husband. So why are you out here working, trying to work these different jobs, trying to work every kind of job? You got pampered by Porsche bed sheets that you advertise here and there. You got your naked, go naked hair that you advertise here and there. Okay, next you just supposed to be a wife and do whatever that tells you to do. 
Because I'm like, you know what? Where the hell is Simon? Why he can't bring his mama over him? We see your mama. And we don't really want to see her as much as you do show her. But that's your mama. That's your platform. That's your social media page. So forgive me. Okay? But I don't want to see her as much as I see her. I don't mind seeing your grandmama. She's kind of funny. All right? Because she said her, her son cheat. That's why he thought she thought Dennis was a cheater. But she didn't know her son was a cheater too. So when y'all was having that luncheon and this, that, and the third and calling Dennis a cheater, hell, all y'all was cheating. Put yourself in there too, Portia. But why don't we see Simon's mother? Why? I, I'm sure she ain't like, she can't travel. Is she on the no-fly no fly list, Simon? Is your mama on the no-fly list? Tell us, honey. Because I think she should be over here seeing what Atlanta gives. See what it what what her son really get down and what he do. Show her some of your business dealings, cause we sure can't see him. Maybe she'll sneak out and tell us what you do on the low. But that's what I'm talking. He's trying to be all family oriented, oriented, and this, that, and the third. But we never see your we never see your mama and the interactions you have with just your mama. I'm sure your mama would love to come over here to Atlanta and see the comings and goings of a, a black Mecca. Okay. But you just smiling, you just taking it all in. Hell, you need to be over there decorating her house and redoing her house. Because it was kind of like suspect. Like it needed some work done, Simon. While you up here babysitting these cars, trying to smoke these Cuban, Cuban cigars, trying to play golf, trying to act like a white man. You need to be over there straightening out your mama house over there in Africa. Okay? Making it, making it do what it do. Making her, like you're trying to make Portia Queen over here. An unmarried queen, but a queen over here. You should be making your mama a queen over there. So I understand. I, I, I'm thoroughly confused. And I think most of my family members here on YouTube, if they had a billionaire husband, that's the last thing they're going to be thinking about is trying to work. If anything, you would get a charity, a foundation, and work on that if you just have to be out there doing something. Give back to the community. Make your, your own foundation of what cause you want to care for. And want to help people through. That would be better. But you up here still trying to do work. Like you ain't got nobody. Like you hustling. You hustling for yourself and your daughter. But you trying to hook up with Simon. Simon he's your husband. And all this stuff. Girl get the hell out of here with that mess. I just thought I would come over here. And try to get Portia to, to uh, get her together. Because she, I don't love her alone. <laughs> Cause she just she don't went. I'm like she talking about her blessings. I'm like, girl, I thought your husband was your blessing. That billionaire, that billionaire man. Okay, I thought that was all you needed, girl. That's why I thought I thought you would be a housewife. So is there is something in paradise not uh is uprooting, girl? He ain't on a firm foundation no more. Tell us, honey. Tell us. Tell us what Simon really doing behind them closed doors. He ain't got what it takes. He ain't got what it takes, girl. That you got to go out him. Get some added work done. Call yourself want to be a part of a comedy team. Girl, you should have went on wilding out then, huh? We see how funny you could be. <sighs> Portia just exhausts my brain. And my intelligence, child. You funny. You are so, so funny. So little. Too late. To even try to orchestrate. Any type of understanding that you could possibly give the masses at large that are wanting to see here and see you improve okay but now you're trying to get into the hollywood life you remember the casting couch and things you got to do but i mean you already up there so you, you you're quite familiar with the casting couch yes you are because i forgot you wrote a book you were talking about uh you had to do some strange strange oh some strange things to get some positions up in the industry because you were trying to be a singer at the time you, you and r kelly were doing make it do what it do so yeah you was already part of that Cast the couch. Do, do time about Well, of course he had to know about it because he read the book. I don't think he really read the book. He just put it up there for a prop. Okay, he didn't read shit. He didn't. Okay, but that's all I have for this video, guys. I've been a little messy and kind of trying to be uplifting, but I just don't understand where she's going with all this because I'm still seeing PJ without her mom. That's what I'm saying. Because when you got to go to another uh state. And learn lines and be a part of a production team. You don't have time. And Portia, you're not living the single life anymore, baby. You you have a full-fledged daughter here. That needs your time and attention. 
And we ain't even out for the uh, summer break yet. You're doing too much, Portia. You're just doing too much. But that's all I have for this video, guys. Like a little gotta have more. Make sure you tune in and get the notification bell set up so when I drop a video, you'll be the first to know. Okay, I'll see y'all next video. Take care. Bye bye.